let's take a look at some control net options we have over at PV. Control net, generally speaking, extracts information from the reference image and uses that information to generate a new image. Clicking on the control net models node, we get all the list of extracted information we can get. So, uh, Kenny, depth, HED, normal map, pose estimation, segmentation, all of these are available. And when we click run model, we get two images. One of the pre-processed image with the information extracted from the image and the generated image using that information. So in this example, I'm using this frame for my reference image and the prompt for the generation. So in the prompt, I'm asking for a red woman with an orange tree pointillism style. I'm getting this result. On the second test I did, I used depth map and that was the image received. And HED with this image, normal map with this image, pose estimation with this very nice image, and segmentation and this image. So you can try it out for yourself, get different results and examine what works best for you. These are all control net models based on SDXL, but we do have uh, flux scanning and flux depth uh, to get results based on flux AI model. In the second example, I want to show you a somewhat more complex workflow. So I'm using this very nice design that I got off the web that I really liked, and I'm using this as a reference image, trying to combine both of them using control net and some LLMs. So in the first LLM, I'm asking the model to describe and analyze the overall structure of this image. And the second LLM is used to analyze the color palette and material texture of this reference image. Both of them go into concatenation, I mean connected together, and they are both plugged into Flux Control Net and LoRa. I'm not using the LoRa, but I'm using Flux Control Net, and here I've chosen Kenny Control Net. It's getting the prompt concatenated of the style and the description of the uh, structure of the first image, and it's getting a reference image for the Control Net. So it preserves the structure of the reference image, the control net using Canny, but it also generates a very nice style using this as a reference. Okay, that was a quick view on control nets in Weavy.